What up? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And look at you. You done stumbled upon little OTB Saints, where we bring you all the latest black and gold coverage. Who are the Saints going to draft? Who's going to be their quarterback? What does the salary cap look like? All that information and more. Hope you enjoy it. Like, subscribe. New Orleans Saints as camp day 12 in the books. Um, we'll get into some practice notes real quick. Uh, but before that, Tyron Matthew apparently went to the Justin Simmons dinner last night. So here's to hoping that, uh, look, Tyron Matthew is an overwhelming uh, personality and, and leader. And he carries himself with a charisma and a gravitas that I cannot overstate. And so uh, I think that's big in terms of combined with, as we talked about yesterday, Justin Simmons having so many connections to the coaching staff as uh, two of the coaches on this roster were his DB coaches in Denver, where obviously he had a ton of success. Um, apparently the Saints have been talking to Justin Simmons for a while now. It's just been that uh, the, the the money was kind of a, a non-starter. I, for whatever reason, they appear to be close to now. Let's go to Dennis Allen 7. This is how long uh, they've been talking with Justin Simmons. Probably sometime in the spring, there was a little bit of back and forth. We and 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 he were not probably, you know, on the same page in terms of what we were willing to do or, or what he's looking for. I think it's just getting closer to the season. I think we're probably a little closer on both sides, and so I think that's why you bring the player in. You have a chance to sit down and visit with him and and uh, see if things work out. Uh, this is Alan Four. This is on the decision to bring in Justin Simmons. Kind of what it means for what you've seen out of, out of that safety opposite of Tyron Matthew. This is a guy that's been a good player in our league for a long time. He's a player that's shown an interest in us. We've got some connections with him in terms of guys on our staff that have worked with him, guys that have played with him. And so, look, I think that it's exactly what it is. It's a visit. He's coming in, and, and, and we'll talk about how we would see him, what type of vision that we would have for him, and then uh, if what we're looking for and what he's looking for, if those things match up, then you know we'll, we'll see if, if, if it goes further than that. Uh, speaking of how you would use him, uh, this is Dennis Allen 13. Would Tyron Matthew and Justin Simmons play at the same time? If we went down that road, um, I think we'd find ways to utilize those players. I think that's one. Of, I think that's a strength of what we do. Um, is we find out what guys do really well. We put them in those situations to do that. We'll figure it out if that's the case. So uh, there you go. Justin Simmons eating with the Saints last night. Meeting with them, of course. Simmons, a four-time All-Pro. I think it's like four of the last five years, something along those lines. Uh, we. Him and Tyron Matthew would seemingly make up one of the more exciting duos in the entire league. Also, it doesn't seem like Jonathan Abram, Jordan Howden, or anybody's really separated. They've been rotating about four guys there. Uh, and so we'll, we'll we'll see, man. Um, money, I look, if money was such an issue that you weren't even getting past the initial stages early on, I still don't feel very bullish about the money being right to both parties at this point. I don't think a one-year deal or anything like that has a lot of particular uh, appeal to Simmons at 31 years old. You know, this is not like a Chase Young, come in and prove it, and then you'll be in line for another big contract. Because if you get to 32 without a long-term deal, like, well, then you're that much more unattractive, right? So I don't know if they'll be able to meet in the middle here. But if they do, uh, you do, as we said yesterday, you get markedly better. Yeah, but also, like, what leverage does he have as a player? Like he might not want to take a one year deal, but if he wants to still play, if he wants to continue being an NFL player, that might be where his career is at right now. Yeah. It might be at, hey, that's that's where I have to live. I have to live on some one year deals. And you know what? Sometimes that that's okay. It's okay to to get a one year deal and hey, maybe I play myself into a two year deal. Two years, thirteen million dollars, right? If I can show in New Orleans that I can I can be healthy, I can be a player that they can count on like that one year deal can be very important to you and so for Justin Simmons we sit here on August the 8th yeah and he's not on an NFL roster do you want to go make a couple million bucks and play for the Saints or do you want to sit wait at home and hope that somebody calls you and you get the veteran league minimum whenever they call you he's been I mean he's obviously got you know he's he's been pushing it right to still be available uh, at this point with the amount of talent and the resume that he has, like he's been willing to stand his ground. So I, I, I wonder is is it maybe, maybe he's finally writing down? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll continue to try to update 
the latest on Simmons and whether or not he got out there with an offer, whether he's gone, will we'll, we remains to be seen. In terms of Saints practice notes yesterday, uh, Demario Davis and Jalen Ford were still out watching practice uh, with their jerseys on. You had uh, Marshawn Lattimore watching practice in street clothes as he continues to deal with that hip flexor. Other notable names that were out, Paulson Debo, Rashid Chahid, Kendra Miller, Nick Saldaveri. So, a bit of a light injury bug. No major injuries, which is good. Knock on wood, right? That's always what you want. But a little nagging things here or there, certainly. And uh, apparently Mason Tipton and Willie Gay Jr. left practice early yesterday, which... Obviously, you hope those two are okay. Those two have been some of the kind of standout new faces of the Saints training camp in California. Uh, it was a rough day for Trevor Penning yesterday in uh, nine team plays. He gave up two sacks to both Carl Granderson and Peyton Turner and a run stuff. So uh, that has not been that that has not been the um, that has not been like the consistent theme with pinning it's been uneven but yesterday was definitely up you know one, one of the worst days even though you know I, I don't want to make too much of it because uh, we're definitely at a point with this guy where we just say let's go prove it but Peyton Turner continues to show up in a lot of these practice reports is having being disruptive making plays is he rolling your eyes Taylor but like I mean what's been the biggest problem with Turner health right availability He's been somewhat productive, actually, when he has played. And so um, maybe this is the year where he gets lucky and it comes together and he stays healthy. And, I mean, the guy's a physical freak. Like, yeah, may- maybe maybe Peyton Turner. I'm not going to count on it. I'm not relying on it. Yeah, I'm not, I'll like, getting my hopes up for it. Uh, but just know that he's floating out there and maybe Peyton Turner actually has a bit of an impact and contributes this year. Oof, you just you got to get something out of him. Maybe he's first-round pick. and. He's somebody that we were told could do multiple things, and that's why you selected him because you felt like he could kick inside if he had to. He could play outside. He could rush the quarterback. He could do all these things, and it's going to be great. And it hasn't been anything. Like you said, he just hasn't been on the field. No. And counting on him right now would be a mistake. If anything you get from him is laying yet. Like anything, like yeah. no matter what it is, it's not something that you were counting on right now. So, it, I mean, it is good to hear that he's healthy. Um, it's a position that you went and got Chase Young because you didn't believe he could stay healthy. But if he can give you something, if he can give you literally anything, that's not something that you were counting on. I wonder. I almost think of Peyton Turner as a three technique now. More. Am I wrong? Do you think? Do you think he's still? Is he still? Is he still uh, more of a DN? I think of him as being an inside. I mean, he's guy. still. He's still listed on the depth chart as a as an outside. Okay. Like as an edge rusher. But again, though, he has the the ability to kick down inside and, and play both. Yeah, certainly third down, it would feel like maybe, uh, even though Brzee is probably your best interior third down, not probably, is your best interior third down pass rusher. But we know they've been doing things with kicking Cam Jordan down inside, having Carl Granderson and Chase Young on the edges. So uh, I'm excited for Saturday. Real quick, one minute total. What are you most looking forward to seeing in Saturday's game against the Cardinals? The easy one would be the quarterback battle between Jay Hayner and Spencer Rattler. Yeah, it's me too. I'm right there. Rattler's got a lot of hype right I'll, now. I'll go the opposite, though. Not the opposite, but I'll go somewhere else. I'll go running back. I'll go, what does Kendra Miller do? What does Jordan Mims do? How can they solidify their spot on this roster? Because Ken, like Kendra Miller... Nick said, "Like it, it ain't guaranteed." No, no. I mean, he's even, on this even, roster even right before now. he was out. He uh, he was already with the. He was on the the second field, whereas um, uh, Mims w- 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 Mims is ahead of him on the. Yeah, he's time. ahead of him. Look, he's ahead of him. I want to see how that plays out because they're going to get their opportunity. You're not going to see a lot of Alvin Kamara. You're probably going to see very few snaps from Jamal Williams, being a veteran that he is. I want to see those two players, one of them go get it, one of them take that position over. I think I think it's going to be a role for the Saints because J- Jamal Williams is not like AK, right? So you need somebody that can kind of be the in between those two players. I think both these players have that skill set, but one of them's got to go win the job. Speaking of AK, uh he continues to thrive during camp. I really think this offense is going to help bring him back to life more so than maybe any other player on this roster. Wow, just amazing black and gold takes right there, Jake. I don't think I've ever heard any takes that are better than the two guys that just gave you that take. And you can keep getting them by going ahead and liking, subscribing, ringing the bell, 
to get notifications when we post. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next OTB Safe.